all I gotta say is, day one, after I chose myself, this is what happened. This is, this is, hold up. This is what happened. Like, literally, like, there's never a point in time where I ever regretted choosing myself. But every single time I chose somebody over me, I always regretted it. <sighs> Girl, I finally made an Etsy shop. I have my nails on my Etsy shop now. I have them in teal, red. I love this red color. This navy blue color is popping. Like, I actually love this navy blue color. And then purple. I love the purple. You can cut these, you can shape them, you can be dazzled them, you can do whatever you want, honey. And they're only 10 to $12 each. I do do custom ones, like $30, and I'll send like the whole pack customized, or like $15 if you want like one or five customized. If you want the whole pack customized, it's gonna be $30 to $45. But I gotta make a TikTok and I'll be right back. Shop will be up today. Customs nails are $30. finished my nails this is how they came out <gasps> i like them you know what i'm saying all i gotta say is day one after i chose myself this is, this is hold up this is what happened like literally like there's never a point in time where i ever regretted choosing myself but every single time i chose somebody over me i always regretted it happy being this retrograde everybody i know you're going through it <laughs> i know the exes is in the dms i know you tempted to go back honey do not go back do not ever take an ex back door in a retrograde um your relationship is probably suffering y'all need to discuss some things and you need to put yourself first if you find yourself over compromising for somebody or somebody just does not respect your boundaries or somebody is just not giving you what you need in a relationship or what you want it is time to let that person go and to put you at the forefront. Um, sorry, I put my hair back. <laughs> I forgot I had my hair back, honey. And that is the best thing you can do. The universe always bless people who chooses themselves. Like I just got blessed this morning. Literally this morning, I cut the cord. I sold my car, which I was trying to sell for almost like two months now. I finally sold it at the price I wanted to sell it for. Probably like $200 less. I was fine with $2,000, but I got $2,300. And I'm great. I was just like, you have to get all of that energy out the way. So if you're struggling with this, this is a video where I'm going to be talking about how you can cut the cord with somebody by using a piece of paper and a black pen. Why do I say black pen? Because blue pens typically like attract things to you. Um, blue pens are like what you write down your manifestations in because blue is like blue is a color of I believe the I think blue is like the third eye in the throat chakra but you're decreeing things and you're manifesting things through your subconscious so you use blue so if you want to banish somebody don't use blue use black black is used for protection um repelling um hexing i would say don't ever hex anybody if you feel like you are angry or anything just be just have in mind you get what you give in this world trust me you get what you give like so don't hex people while you're doing this cord cutting bless them bless them with peace bless them with the best things in life bless them to whereas this relationship or this cord cutting would not affect them in a way whereas they're nervous or they're obsessed over this like pray for them to whereas like you're ready to let this go so you're letting it go because it's just time to let it go and you're going your separate ways but while they go their separate way they are blessed with abundance and true love and happiness in all their relationships their money is increasing, their blessings are increasing. Like, it is okay that somebody is blessed without you. You love that person at one point. Keep that love for that person so you can keep that love for yourself. Cause honey, we're better around here. We're not bitter, we're better, okay? Then I'm gonna tell you how to handle like the negative thoughts that might come in or like the thoughts of like you missing this person. That is not your thoughts. <laughs> That's just the residual energy of that person coming back up into you. When you catch that energy, catch it and then give it back to them. Like notice it like, okay, notice that, okay, this is not my energy. This energy is not a part of me. I'm glad that it came up so I can give that person back their energy and I can call back my energy so I can thrive in my life and be genuinely happy and that we can both separate on the greatest terms and be happy. It does not mean that you have to keep this person in your life. If you want to close doors like me, I will close the damn door. Like 
the door is closed and the door has you know disappeared because it was an illusion in the first place and once you understand that that things are just working for you nothing is working against you everything is for you even if it hurts you or even if it makes you feel like you want to die that is for you you got through a hundred percent of your bad days trust me you are strong you are beautiful you are worthy you are on it sis you are on it so let's get started so make sure you have a black pen now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece of paper leave clockwise for you guys is like this way you're gonna make sure you turn this counterclockwise a few times and while you turn this paper counterclockwise you're gonna say i decree i decree this cord is cut from me i decree i decree that i am free i'm free i decree i decree with blessings and love that we are no more the love we used to have is no more and closed is the door i decree i decree me and you are free so now with this paper that you turn counterclockwise you want to make sure that once you stop turning it counterclockwise you're going to rip this paper away from you and release it like intentionally release it i decree i decree i am free turn it counterclockwise tear the paper away from you i decree i decree i am free honey counterclockwise tear the paper away from you i decree i decree i am free counterclockwise tear the paper away from you the love is no more close is the door okay love there's no love here no more close is the door so when i say there's no love here no more there's no obsession there's no worrying about this person there's no worrying if this person's gonna get in a new relationship there's just don't worry about you know this person calling all those feelings are no more you would not experience those feelings for this person anymore the cord is cut i decree i decree i am free let this cord be cut from me i decree i decree i am free <laughs> the love is no more closed is this door so now what you're going to do with this paper you're going to write down the name of this person the first and last name of this person if you don't know the man's first and last name that is fine and then you're going to write down his birthday if you don't know his birthday that is fine you know who you're talking about and if you want to i wouldn't say print a picture of them I, you don't need to do that at all so i'm just writing down i'm not writing down a person's name i'm just writing down like it's gonna say the person's name and their birthday now you're gonna turn it counterclockwise from you you're gonna write down your command so what you want to do is write cut the cord between you and me cut the cord for good for good because we're closing this door for good so we can move forward in our life for good and for the good of you and me. And then you're gonna write that three times. I'm just gonna write command, command. You can find the YouTuber that I got this from because I'm a poster right here. Watch her videos too if you're interested in this stuff, but this is just what I got it from. I just wanted to make a video about it to help my sisters out. So you're gonna turn the paper again counterclockwise and you're gonna write it over their name. So you're gonna write, cut the cord between you and me, cut the cord for good, um, and for the good for you and me. And then you can write down something else like, I am free, I am free. So now you're gonna turn again counterclockwise and then you're gonna like sign it, like you're signing a check. And while you're signing it, you're releasing all that energy. If you have energy coming up, like you're crying or you're like you're upset and like you're hesitant to move forward, but you know you have to move forward for you, just keep going, okay? Like keep going, sis. You got this. Like, you know, you didn't get here by yourself, okay? And this is not to blame anybody, but I know how it feels to like feel stuck in a situation. Feel like this is not for my best good. Like, sis, you deserve the best. So you came here because you're ready to move forward in your life you're ready to receive your blessings and you're ready to move forward for these blessings and this person is too this person is clearing their energy too or they need to clear the energy that you're taking up so they can receive better blessings for them like it's not just about you you don't want to be egotistical and wish bad on this person because it's going to come back on you and you don't want to deal with that energy so definitely tuck her down if you're angry 
put it all in this paper but wish them love don't wish anything bad on them we're going to do with this paper we're going to fold it away from us so this bill i am free i am free this cord is cut between you and me you're going to turn it counterclockwise which i think is this way so again you're going to go i am free i am free the cord is cut between you and me and then fold it until you can't anymore and then you can turn it counterclockwise again i think it's this way so i am free and make sure you're Make sure you're folding this paper away from you because you want these feelings to leave you. So don't fold it towards you because you're going to get more intense feelings. Fold it away from you. So you should have this little piece of paper and then these little papers left over. Throw these in the garbage. Like literally, it's going to seem kind of harsh. Throw these in the garbage. These are going in the garbage. And what you're going to do with this paper, you can put it at a crossroads and bury it if you want to. Me, I just literally took a pot, set it on fire and let it burn until it was ashes because i knew that because me personally you can dig something back up from the earth even if it's decaying you can dig it back up but if you burn this paper you will never go back there ever again so the intention is to fully completely free yourself from this situation free yourself from this person the situation the feelings that you have put all the feelings in this paper and while it is burning and you feel the feelings of like letting it go and crying put it into that like that's not your energy put it into that because let the fire take those energies too so let the energies come up do not fight the energies let the energies come up and let this paper burn once it is completely burnt i put like a little bit of you know boiled water in there and then i literally flushed it down the toilet and flushed it down the toilet <laughs> so that is the cord cutting ritual trust me it worked for me in like a few hours after i cut the cord i was still kind of heavy and when you're still kind of heavy you still have residual feelings from this person that is completely normal you're cutting the cord also what i noticed that helped me is that i literally imagined me taking like the cord out of me to whereas there was like a knot in there and it was like a spiritual knot and i didn't just only cut the cord I took the whole fucking rope out and I burned it. I let it burn with the fire. So that is not a door that I can open ever again. Just because like I don't hate the person. I just know what I deserve and what's coming into my life. And I would not let my past jeopardize that. Like literally, if this, this situation showed me how to conduct myself in relationships. And it showed me how to have a healthy relationships. And it showed me that closing doors with people is not a bad thing. Blocking people is not a bad thing because I didn't wish him bad or anything. I just couldn't be the person that he needed in his life to whereas I felt like we wouldn't be fighting all the time. And this was something that I wanted to let go for a long time. So if you're in that situation where you're like in a situation or a relationship that's just going on and on and you feel like you're over compromising yourself or you feel like you're stuck in this because you're a very loyal person or like you take breakups really hard. This is a great ritual for you because it's allowing you to take your power back. It's allowing you to say no. This is something I do not allow in my life because I see my energy as sacred and beautiful and abundant and I deserve the very best. I do not deserve to struggle in love. Struggle love, that's not that's not what we're doing. It's 2022. We are not struggling for love. Begging and chasing, we are not begging and chasing for love. So if, if you feel all those feelings like, oh, I should call this person or like, ah, this, you know, I did it through a text message because I didn't want to talk to him anymore, but I didn't just want to block him and like have him wondering. That's not something that I wish on somebody. I did tell him that like, you know, how I felt. I wrote a letter to him and then once I sent it, um i waited a few hours to see if he would reply back he didn't and i was just like okay i'm not giving no more time or energy to this and i just wished him well i was just like I, I you know i love you i wish you well i just can't handle this anymore and i will not but yes guys that is my ritual if you like this definitely like comment subscribe definitely check out the other channels they'll be all linked down in the description box below and if you like my nails i do custom nails like custom nails and mismatch nails like this will have like a 30 dollar price but if you want like the regular degla like teal nails red nails the stand third they're like 10 to 12 dollars and they're on my etsy shop so yes guys follow my other channels follow my tiktok follow my instagram follow me follow me follow me subscribe i just all that comment i love to read your comments Mwah. Bye. Bye.